This is a quick tutorial just to go through the details of the potentially problematic scenario when you're working with a digital audio workstation. I've got Studio One open in this case, although it could be Mixcraft, Pro Tools or anything else. But the common factor will be that you're using Dante Virtual Sound Card as your audio interface. If we have a look in audio input output in Studio One here, I'm using Dante Virtual Soundcart for I.O. A potential problem that can arise presents itself if you open a session inside your workstation that was recorded at a different sample rate. In this particular scenario, I'm using the ESI Planet 22X audio interface, which is a network audio interface that works via Dante and that's just got its headphone output connected to this little Blackstar amplifier for convenience in making this video, so you can hear what's going on. All of this network traffic is being processed by a small router over here on the right hand side, including audio that is travelling across the network from Dante Virtual Soundcard in the computer to the ESI interface before it's turned into analogue audio to go out to the Blackstar amp. So, just to give you an example that all of this is working correctly at the moment, I'll turn up the headphone output briefly so you can hear the multi-channel audio coming out of the ESI's stereo headphone out and into the little guitar amp. Remember, until it gets to the headphone out, it's all travelling via Ethernet across the network. If we have a look at the settings once again inside Song Setup in Studio One, the sample rate is currently 48K. Inside Dante Controller, we can have a look at the details for the Planet 22X. Just double click on it in the routing page and under the Device Config tab of the Device View window that opens, we can see that this is also running at a 48K sample rate. Now, the most likely scenario where these can get mismatched is that someone will bring in a session that was recorded at another very common sample rate of 44.1K to a studio environment using Dante software and hardware. They then open that session and allow the door to change the sample rate from 48K to 441K to suit the session being opened. So, with this in mind, watch what happens when I change this in Studio One's preferences here. Studio One is very forgiving with changing sample rates and other things on the fly, so it just skips a little bit and then keeps going. As far as it's concerned, everything is okay. It's just a different sample rate. Dante Virtual Soundcard is also still present, of course, as Studio One's audio input output interface. But if we go back and have a look at the controller again, we see this angry no can do symbol on the channel connections, stating that the channels don't match, which is its way of saying that we have a mismatch in our sample rate that needs to be addressed. The point to make in this initially is that because Studio One is forgiving to the extent that if you enter the software and choose to run your session in 44.1K mode when previously everything was in 48, Dante Virtual Soundcard will just behave and allow it giving the impression that everything's okay. But you'll find that you won't have any audio coming to your speakers or headphones because the connection is no longer active in Dante Controller. To demonstrate this, if I turn the headphone output all the way up to full volume now, you'll hear that nothing is coming out of the amplifier as the connection doesn't exist. To resolve this, on the Studio One side, just go back into your Studio One options and make sure you're in the Song Setup page to get to the Sample Rate drop-down menu. Change this back to 48K, then click Apply. In Dante Controller, I don't even need to do a refresh, as everything is properly connected once again. I'll turn the audio up so you can hear this is once again restored.
To clarify what we've covered up to this point, if you believe you've got Studio One configured correctly, as I now do here, meaning that inside your audio input and output settings, you can see Dante Virtual Sound Card is chosen under Options and Song Setup, and clicking the Control Panel button reveals that Dante Virtual Sound Card is running for the correct channel count. Then, to affirm the discussion up to this point, it's most likely the case that there is a sample rate mismatch if you are getting the channel connection error in Dante Controller and you cannot hear audio from your speakers or headphones. So, if you've been through all of those procedures in your audio workstation, to check that you have everything else set up as it should be, just come back into Dante Controller and inspect the sample rate filter over on the left hand side. Have a look at what happens over here on the right in the routing area if I click this checkbox to filter Dante devices running at 44.1k. It's now showing my computer which is represented by Dante Virtual Sound Card. The point to make here is that this is the only thing that is available at that sample rate. If I then add 48k to the filter and get rid of 44.1, we can see now only the Planet 22X Dante Audio interface is visible as it's running at 48k. And if I select them both now, as this message is telling us quite clearly here, we can't transmit information at 44.1 to a device receiving at 48k. So that's how you can find out whether or not mismatched sample rates are causing issues with your Dante network audio connections. If you've verified that this is a problem, your best option is to allow the digital audio workstation session to stay at 44.1 if that's how it was originally recorded. You may get issues like audio speeding up or slowing down if you try to make the same session work at a different sample rate. To facilitate this, I can change the Planet 22X device's sample rate. I'll double click on it from Dante Controller's routing page and go to the Device View and Device Config tab. This is how you have to access sample rate settings for hardware Dante audio interfaces like the Planet 22X. So, unlike the Dante Virtual Sound Card and Studio One scenario that we went through previously, for an actual hardware device like this one, or perhaps a Yamaha TO1608 audio interface in a recording studio or live environment, if you want to change the sample rate, you actually have to go into the device detail here in Dante Controller. When I change the sample rate here, it'll ask me if I really want to. So I'll click yes and we should now see our Dante network audio connections restored in Dante controller. I'll turn this up now so you can hear it once again. This also reveals something else that is quite forgiving about Studio One and working with Dante Virtual Sound Card. It's the fact that even though we've just switched between two sample rates, we didn't encounter any changing pitch issues. I'll give you a listen to that once more in 44.1K. Now to finish, let's change this one back so the hardware device is once again on 48K. If we have a listen now, you'll hear it's all still the same in pitch and playback speed, despite changing back and forth between different sample rates, which I find very impressive. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.